it so. Dome of silence is building. The hegemony is breached. The master of our daily and our heavenly decreed may commence entering the sphere of angelic silence. surprised, for there is no holiness in their technology nor in their craft. Carrier 5 of the crafted men has joined us as well. So, there are four. We gave them souls, but did we give them the right to be part of these negotiations? All who made it to here were predestined to make the decision. The Master of our daily and our heavenly decreed, our Holy Father Pope Urban the 73rd. The Archpatriarch, third bearer of the Blessed Burden and Eastern Lance of Christ. Supreme Reverend and Ecumenical President of the Crystal Church. The Master Crafter, Presiding Chair of the Hundred Cities. After our first encounter, we have been observing and studying the object for seven years. I will summarize our findings. Our sun originated from the core of our galaxy. In this core, we found the object. The object is conscious. It deliberately created the circumstances necessary for the creation of life on our beloved Earth. It provided the gleams and sparks for life to form in the primal sea. The object is undauntedly the origin of our existence. And it emits a powerful radiation which is transformed to religious feelings in 85% of the population on Earth. Our believers. The souls we got. Is it God? We created you, Master Crafter. Are we your God? We believe in a creator who resides in a metaphysical plane of uncertainty and provides cover for contradictions in our moral code. As do we. We've asked it, and it gave us an answer. What did it answer? 
that it is the one true God of our galaxy. Then he cannot be God, for the one and only God is Lord of the entire universe, of all the galaxies and the seven dimensions. The hegemony is collapsing in three minutes. Is he omnipotent? Obviously not. Explain about the religious feelings he creates in your brains. We know of your experiments. Trying to emulate the frequency, Master Crafter. We also know how you succeeded no more than we did. You simply lack the ability to navigate inside the Apple of Bliss. The object, however, designed the Apple of Bliss and has molded its spine. You are well informed, Holy Father. However, the reason for me to ask this question is, of course, to gain insight in the fact that we did not manage to shield our craft at all for its religious radiation. He is like the sacred navigator in the storm of our soul. You mean that he inspires stronger religious vigor than we do? And that may very well be the sole purpose of us being here in the Dome of Silence. What are its views on our Lord Jesus of Nazareth? How blessed scientists did inquire about our Lord and Savior you did not devoutly speak of Jesus. It told us that it once directly spoke with John the Baptist, but never with Jesus. He denied being his father in any other way than he is ours. In addition, he is said to have spoken directly to several others who are unknown to us and are not blessed with a harvest number in our sacred catalogue of benign reverence or churches. John the Baptist? So it's true. What exactly is true, Archpatriarch? We possess the Baptist skull and measure high levels of truth, even more than in the blood of Christ. Which was sold to the Supreme Reverend, and so it is no longer your possession. We follow Jesus. As do we. However, the faith of our following is tested, and so far we all fall for its false revelations. We are experiencing a drop of 90% in the spiritual harvest. Our harvest has decreased by 92.1%. Even a few minutes ago, my congregation tried to retrieve me before I entered the dome. Just before that, I saw the fourth carrier destroyed by the Rome suicide cult. It claims to have created a dimension in which we reincarnate after we die. Was this verified by our scientists? The existence of this dimension has been proven. However, we could not detect any souls residing in it. The creature is lying. Heaven cannot be measured, so all its claims are false. Can we allow this to happen to our true faith? Think of the loss of souls for our love. We cannot allow this blasphemous creature to take control over the human planets. The crafted human follows the one true Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then it is decided. Release the Blade of Christ.